My name is Jan Jorge. I come from Slovenia. Uh, I'm co-founder of Go6 Institute. In the last two, three years, I've been working for uh, pushing the awareness and deployment of IPv6 in Slovenia and wider. Dual stack PDP context is not standardized yet. Uh, currently, if you want to have a dual stack on your phone, you need to set up two PDP contexts. From technical point of view, uh, this is not an issue, but it's an issue from a licensing point of view. Uh, money is always an issue, and when mobile operator needs to pay for the numbers of the licenses for the number of PDP contexts, that can be connected to his network. If you double this number, then you get in serious trouble. Not all mobile phones support IPv6 currently. Hardware is a problem. Uh, lots of these new smartphones uses the chipset uh, that cannot reliably support IPv6 on the cellular network. Currently today we can do it with two PDP contexts, two connections basically, from the same phone. But um, the only phone that supports this currently is N900 from Nokia. Basically roaming on IPv6 is working from lots of parts of the world. I was able to do it from the States to connect via roaming to Slovenian um, access point and had I had IPv6 on my mobile phone that was Slovenian IPv6. I checked with our uh, Slovenian mobile operator which operator around the world sent the bill for v6 traffic that I generated reading an email around the world and there was only one I will not tell who but was only one operator in one country that were able to charge the V6 traffic. So we need to we need to fix that. Basically, mobile IPv6 is the idea that you have your home IP, home address, um, on your phone if if you are in your home network or you are, if you are going. If you're roaming to some other network, for example, to wireless, to wired network, to, 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 to 3G network, wherever you are, you have the same IP and it's reachable uh, from the outer world. In the future, GSM number will not necessarily be the only identifier of the mobile phone anymore. IPv6 is mandatory in LTE. LTE is based on IPv6. Uh, if you look at uh, Verizon's, um, Verizon's Verizon um, wrote the specification for the mobile phones that will be able to connect to their LTE network. And there is IPv6 stack is mandatory. IPv4 is optional. 